Hello. In this video, we're going to learn how to put a message on the screen. Now, uh, this is not going to be an interactive one. It's not going to change as we go. That's going to be in a different video. I'm just going to show you how to put some plain text. So the first thing I need is a font. I think I actually can do this without a font, but it's certainly much better with one. So there we go. I'm creating a new font. Uh, I'm going to call that um, heading for want of something better. I'm going to use American typewriter and I'm going to have it at size 64. And that's roughly what it'll look like up there. Uh, it doesn't set the color or anything here, but that's fine. You can do that as well. So I've got that. Um, I've got that font now to work with. Now, what I'm going to do is create myself a new object. Now, this object acts like a projector. So this enables the text to be shown. Uh, to be shown. So I'm going to create this object. Uh, there it is. And I'm actually going to call it um, object underscore um, projector object sorry underscore projector there we go now it doesn't really matter what sprite i give it because it's going to disappear when i use it so there it is and now i'm going to go into room two which is where i want this to be and i'm going to place that object so as you can see that object is visible there on the preview but now i'm going to go into the actions for this and i'm going to add an event and the event is called draw now this draw event is what enables it to do it to show the text but it also makes the object itself invisible so here's the event draw and i'm going to put in not set font but draw value so here i'm going to write game over in talking marks and i'm going to set it at 100 pixels from the side and 100 pixels from the top Okay, and let's have a look at this in action. Okay, so there's my first level, and I put this one on the second. So I get to the top, and there you go. It says game over there, although that actually isn't using uh, the font. And let's go back and see why, because I actually didn't tell it what font to use. So set font, and I will choose the font as heading. So as you can see, you can do it without the font, but it's fairly inauspicious. So let's have another look at that. Okay, so here's my first page. And there we go, game over. So I could put that in a different position. I could put it, say, 300 pixels across and so forth. Um, and there are ways of doing the formatting and so forth that you can Google. But very simply, if you want to just fly a message, for instance, for the start or finish of your game, or just have some text in there somewhere, that's a very easy way to do it. 